going to count backwards from 10 to 1. With every number you hear, your mind, your body, and your soul is going to become deeper and heavier. With every sound that you hear as I count from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, body is sinking further and further. Your mind is getting deeper and heavier with every breath that you take, taking you further down into the eternal abyss, getting more and more relaxed with every sound in your entire being surrounding you, relaxing you further, making your body into cement, dropping you deeper and deeper and deeper. You begin to relax. You begin to go into an environment of complete safety and complete relaxation. Everything in your entire being right now is going further and further down into this relaxing abyss. Your eyes are so heavy, you cannot open them. Your body is so heavy, you cannot move. Relaxing further and further down, as if you were a stone sinking into the water. Going further down to the very bottom of the ocean. Everything in your surrounding environment becomes darker and darker and darker as you get deeper and deeper down. As I count from five. Closed. See the environment. 
environment in front of you. It's an environment of pure beauty, pure sensualization, and pure noise, taking you ever deeper into the confines of your mind. Continue sinking into your seat as if there is some sort of great pressure, this manifestation above your head, pushing you down into the earth and into the ground. Begin to become one with the environment around you as if you were a screen door, allowing all of the energy beauty of nature flowing through you like wind and try your best to release it ever expanding further and further into this mental state of pure bliss and pure relaxation taking with you only your thoughts, your mind, your soul.
crawling up my body, crawling up my body.
18 year old boy, commercial school student, went to school one morning, showed keen interest in his lessons, and an hour later shot himself through the head with a revolver. The cause of his suicide was brought about without difficulty. The 18 year old boy, commercial school student, went to school one morning, showed Next, we learned his case masturbation was actually linked with incestuous fantasies. During the very first indulgence of masturbation, it occurred to him suddenly that he would like to possess an elderly woman. Suddenly, much to his horror, the image of his mother came to his mind. We now perceive why he gave up the practice of masturbation. The accompanying incest fantasy rendered the attenuation of this form of gratification literally impossible. He recalled also very various occurrences which corroborate the incestuous attachment to mother. High among the mountains while wandering, he met one day an old, ugly peasant woman, and ugly thoughts came to his mind, but these he promptly vanished. Various dreams were concerned with his mother and his sister. We were told his relations with sweetheart had reached a very intimate stage, and might have led to serious consequences if strong inhibitions had not prevented him from taking full advantage of her intimacy in spite of the sweetheart's willingness. He was in bed with her, and in spite of great desire and painful erections, he did not touch her. He treated her as a sister. He also confessed having carried out various pederastic acts with a younger brother. The experienced psychotherapist at once recognized that the attempted suicide was a case of plena telonis, of self-punishment. There was a letter from the mother and the sister pointing out the hopelessness of his love there that prompted the The girl was identified by the sister who bore the same name to the identification of the host character of all his incestuous fantasies and converted from him into a certainty. Her mother, sister, and brother he shifted the conflict over to the girl whom he treated like a nobly made tanger as a sister. But what was the reason for his attempted suicide? Not the rental letter of refusal, but the host character of his love affair. Since he could easily possess the girl, not that only his deep self guilt and the insolvable character of his mental conflict is inability to carry on masturbation as a substitute for incestuous and homosexual longings. We learned further that the first act of masturbation he carried out directly after visiting a prostitute. A visit to be noted that proves successful. It proves that it really cannot satisfy him as well as the autoerotic act with its accompanying incestuous fantasy. The significance of the specific fantasy during masturbation now be emphasized too strongly. The feeling of guilt associated with the fact is dependent on that as well as on the intensity of the gratification. It is the specific fantasy gives the act of masturbation particular coloring and high pleasure quality, rendering irreplaceable by any substitution. Perceive why he gave up the practice of masturbation. The accompanying incest fantasy renders the continuation of this form of gratification literally impossible. He recalled also various, various occurrences which corroborate the incestuous passion to the mother. I am like a mouse while wandering. We met one day an old, ugly peasant woman, and ugly thoughts came to his mind. The beast promptly vanished. Various dreams were concerned with his mother and his sister. 
queer all his relations with a sweetheart had reached a very intimate stage. I have led to serious consequences his strong inhibitions had not prevented him from taking full advantage of their intimacy in spite of the sweetheart's willingness. He was in bed with her and in spite of great desire and painful erections, he did not touch her. He treated her as a sister. He also confessed having carried out various pederastic acts with a younger brother. The experienced psychotherapist at once recognizes that the attempt at suicide was a case of poinatolonis of self-punishment. It was a letter from the mother and the sister pointing out the hopelessness of his love affair that prompted the deed. The girl was identified with his sister who bore the same name and drew the identification the hopeless character of all his incestuous fantasies were converted from him into a certainty. From mother, sister, and brother, he shifted the conflict over to the girl, whom he treated like a nobly made anger as his sister. But what was the reason for his attempted suicide? Not a rental letter of refusal, but the hopeless character of his love affair. Since he could have easily possessed the girl, not that was made his deep self guilt and solvable character of his mental conflict, his inability to carry on masturbation as a substitute for his incestuous homosexual longings. We learn further that the first act of masturbation he carried out directly after visiting a prostitute. The visit to be noted that proves successful. It proves that it really cannot satisfy him as well as the autoerotic act with its accompanying incestuous. The significance of the specific fantasy during masturbation cannot be emphasized too strongly. The feeling of guilt associated with the practice depends on that as well as on the intensity of the gratification. It is the specific fantasy that the act of masturbation its particular coloring and its high pleasure quality, rendering it irreplaceable by any substitution.
tell you it's all right. I just got here from a town of dusty steeples and beer cans where daddies aren't always around and for weeks I've been crawling like an escaped laboratory dog over the sidewalks covered in the grime of man with ash on my skin and smoke in my chest and nails in my hands as my heart hits the bone with such a sordid and delicious thud just looking for her stairs, looking for her stairs, looking for her stairs, looking for mercy stairs and falling every time she turn on her light to tell me I've found a home. Remembering the toiling in T-Town and how, Al how Alabama treated me like shit and put poison in my veins and scars on my girlfriends and holes in my eyes, blind to the sun and waiting for the dawn, waking only to find Queen Belladonna purging Addies and Jack into the dying weeds and cigarette embers, while middle-aged harpies and sons of moonshiners tried to save my poor starving soul, but my sins were my jewels because they belonged to me. No matter how bitter the rust tasted in my bleeding throat, I remember choking on the rocks where the cotton wouldn't grow, I remember being tied up birth by neon walls. I remember breathing, I remember breaking free and then being dragged back by my long tangled hair, wasted, howling and born and dreaming of a stranded life amongst sparks of emerald strode across a desert land, just blasting away into the not quite infinite nothing, where it's gunpowder bliss, it's not, it's not, it's not what I was after, but I think I still know what I'm after. As I spit into the void of silenced church bells and toss my pearls to rabid junkies who spread their seeds across scars left open for the night and surrender to nothing but the electric sky, where their skins break open and my pulse shatters in the rain till I'm left strung out and malnourished on a greyhound thirsty for one more whiskey river and one more dance with the lightning of the soul and it can't kill but oh god it will all because I left the tourniquet undone all because that jackknife lover is a long time gone all because we know what we've become all because I'm so goddamn young all because daddy never loved his son it's not a battle lost or won it's just it's just it's just a hard night falling down on valley street it's just a dirty heat rising over you and me and I don't want to believe in destiny what is destiny I don't want to believe in destiny oh honey please if you want to be cruel to me it's all right so just curse at your saviors and set your insides ablaze and call all abandoned 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 light is coming so goddamn fucking young and daddy never loved his son!
Set upon the flame, said to me, You have been born 
All things are burning, burning with your given to the Lord of her womb. Again I found myself emerging from the womb and I saw my father's face drenched in disgust and shit. And again the wheel took hold of me. Water me with blood.
What is not eternal shall not be laid to rest. To the divine silence of unreachable endlessness, to the divine silence of the faceless void, we give you our homage, but most of all, we give you our gratitude. Oh. 
foot touched the heart of the labyrinth. Separated into two beings, 
with a pure light and pure darkness. And as you begin to sink deeper down, you begin to see the benefit of having both sides. You begin to see the benefit of every portion of your creation and every portion of your entire sentient self. And continue flowing with this feeling of listless relaxation. As if your body has become a feather floating on the wind. Your environment becomes bright. Your environment becomes beautiful. Look around you. Look above you. Look below you. Feel your body. Feel your entire being inside of this wonderful environment. And allow it to evaporate even further. Take the molecules and the cells that have evaporated and melt them further and further down. Become like water, free flowing, formless. Become the ocean that you've been sinking in. Become purity. Become life, become fascination. With every sound that you hear, you begin to fall deeper. Your eyes, so heavy, you cannot open them. Your mind, so heavy, you cannot think. Your body, so heavy, you cannot move. Accept that this is reality and continue sinking deeper and deeper and deeper. As if your soul is manifesting as your body. Nothing but extravagant beauty can occur within your mind right now. As I count, count down, down, down more time, 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 Five, four, three, two, 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 and one, 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 one. You are now, 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 Everything in your mind, everything outside of you, becomes a portion of you. You begin to feel it manifest within your heart. And then it's overwhelming. Your heart feels like it's going to explode, filling so much beauty. And so, so much life. And just, just release it. it. Allow it to flow freely through you. From the, the bottom of your feet up through the top of your head. Feel it like rushing through your entire being. Lose track of your body. To detach your mind. And allow it to rise. High up into the sky, high into the light of the heavens, going further and further. 
like a balloon rising into the air. Feel the wind around you and allow it to relax you. Allow the beauty to flow through you like rain. This is if you are in the middle of a calamitous storm. Feel yourself in the center of that chaos. Feel the chaos running through your veins, awakening energies that you've never felt before. Awakening a new sense of life that you've never felt before. And allow it to drain you. And allow it to replenish you. Feel yourself going ever so deeply into somnambulism. The pure cleansed state of mind taking you deeper and deeper and deeper and begin to focus on your breath every breath that you take lasts for an eternity And see how that eternity affects your entire mental state, your entire physical state. See how it culminates within you. Allow it to structure itself around your entire being. And just breathe. Just breathe deeply. and focus on anything but your own mind. Now transform that point of focus. Transform it into pure energy and pure light. Feel yourself becoming one with that entity the entity of your mind, that entity of pure beauty and bliss expanding from your chest cavity, your entire solar plexus beginning to open, formulating yourself in front of you and watch yourself, notice yourself, feel yourself. Drive the entirety of your physical being into yourself. Let it surround you like a cocoon. And sleep ever so deeply within that cocoon. Metamorphosizing your soul. Metamorphosizing your entire existence. feeling the light caressing you, spilling around you as if somebody was pouring water on top of your head, as if you were standing under a waterfall of light and beauty. Allow it to flow through you easily. Begin to feel the overwhelming sensations of that purity and that beauty. Feel your heart start to rise. Allow it to fill like a balloon, going higher and higher with your mind. Everything in your existence is now surrounded with love and beauty. 
felt so pure. It's so wonderful that you can't even contain it. Release it now from your body. Allow it to flow freely around you, however it desires. And as the energy swirls around you like a water cyclone, imagine yourself in the center of it, relaxing deeper and deeper as I count from five, four, three, two, and one. Feeling that chaotic beauty and every molecule and every atom of your existence. And begin to connect with every human being on planet Earth. Feel the existence between you all. Become one with it. As if every sentient being is a blanket of gold laying over everything you know and everything that you are. And just breathe with it. Feel nothing but gratitude. Play in this as if it were the earth, this blanket of light, this covering of beauty over everything you hold dear, and feel the illumination around you as your aura. Take on the persona of pure light, being a wave and a particle at the same time, moving however you desire. As if you're able to transport yourself to any destination in the universe. Feel the speed of it. Feel the trance of it. Feel your mind beginning to crack open like an egg. Feel the light pouring out of every orifice of your being and creating only peace, creating only existence around you. Take this existence and hold it within you. Hold it physically, mentally, spiritually. Hold it in your hands, the top of your head, your torso, any portion of your body where you can hold this and take it with you wherever you go. And I'm going to count from one to 10 with every number, bringing life, purity, beauty, and existence back into your being. So I count from one, two, three, four, five, bring life, six, back into your body, seven, feeling all of that energy, all of that light culminating within you, eight, Nine, opening your eyes and allowing light to fill them, allowing your head to open up with pure existence. And ten, feeling completely aware, completely alive, and completely known to yourself. As you sit with this, contemplate it and know it.
feeling nothing but gratitude for every single life.